Alrighty, we back. We back. Okay. Also, I moved the game to an SSD and got rid of the whole... I got rid of the forced full screen thing that was supposed to make the game perform better, which kind of did, but kind of didn't. Because it was making the weird glitch happen where I couldn't transfer items correctly. And now it's moved to an SSD. You might wonder, why don't you already have it to an SSD? It's part of it's just there's too many games. <laughs> there's too many video games and a lot of them feel like they should go on the SSD, but like the SSD just it fills up faster than I'd want it to. It is 250 gigs, but games keep getting bigger. Admittedly, there's some long-term games I should remove from there more, but also it's more that I just don't I don't default to putting something on the SSD unless I expect a lot of load times or something. Uh but it's but I th I, I I think it actually did it help with the loading the chunk loading, because this game has like the Minecraft thing going on where it's loading chunks of the map constantly. And I think that helps a bit. So anyway, say hello to the Cyclops again. Uh, I'm excited about the Cyclops. One, is a thing that probably moves differently than anything else, because first of all, it's, it goes forever in that direction. Look at its shape. It's crazy. Uh, I view- I pilot it from here, apparently? I have not tried this at all, so I, I have no idea what it feels like yet. And I'm- and this thing's interesting. Whoa. Oh, wait, I thought I saw something on it, but I didn't. First I thought I saw a Reaper, but that's just a sandbar that I'm seeing through the, the uh, hologram. Then I saw this- then I saw, uh, Sand Shark, but it was just a real Sand Shark. They're just- they're just actually down there. I thought those were in the thing. Uh, I need to fix... yeah, the life pod thing's busted again. Pew pew. There we go. Now, now, no, no, that's no longer on the screen anymore. All right, so Mountain Island's that way. Not in a big hurry to go that way for a while. Where are the other ones? Is HQ. Anyway, so I'm looking, looking forward to trying to pilot this thing. The controls are probably different, so you know, new gameplay to try out. But also, I'm wondering what effect this will have on how afraid I am in the ocean when I'm in a big old vehicle. I'm also fucking terrified to use this thing for different reasons. I like that the sea moth is in here. Like, if this thing goes to hell, I can hop in the sea moth and, and run away. And then if the sea moth gets attacked, I can hop out of that and run away like I did last time. So I've got like, it's like, uh, if the sea moth is me having a mushroom in Mario, then this is my fucking tanuki suit. I got two hits before I go down. That's, 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 that's defense. But also, I'm in a physical, not underwater location, even though I'm underwater, obviously that might abstract the nature of my interaction with the environment enough that the scary monsters outside might be less scary. So on that level, I'm hopeful that I might actually be a little less scary of some of this stuff. But on the other hand, I'm scared for a number of other reasons, because I've got a giant expensive thing that I'm supposed to operate that I don't know how to operate and I'm alone. And, uh, uh there's two finite resources I'm worried, worried about. One, it's durability which is here, apparently. Also interesting that all of the elements of the sub are, like, off-screen. Like, they're not just on the screen the way that they were in the in the sea, sea moth. So I'm worried about that shit, because the more I invest in this thing, like, this thing has storage in it. Uh, how fucked am I if it gets damaged? Can I just repair it with the repair thing? There's a fire extinguisher in here, which opens up the possibility of some really exciting, like, stuff like that one. I, I think of that one flying game. Oh, is there six power cells in this goddamn thing? Oh my god, there's six power cells in this thing. I didn't even realize they're on both sides. That's a lot of fucking power cells. It's like that thing's encouraging, the fact that this thing works. Uh, I think you launch that via... Okay, that's the sea moth. What's that? I can... Oh, I can put upgrade modules into the sea moth if I have them from here. Cool. I don't know how to make an upgrade module, but that's- but I can do that here, apparently. There's a lot to figure out about the surrounding- is that, like, a weird thing clipping through? It looks like it is. So, I'm worried about durability, because I don't know how to repair this thing, if it does take hits. Do I take- do I have to take it- do I have to build a building that repairs it, or do I- can I literally just use my repair thing and point it at it? Like, that's one of my first fears. But in addition to that, uh, there's those power cells. Admittedly, there's six of them, apparently. Uh, but what do I do when I run out of power? Like, if I run out of power in a bad place, I'm in some deep shit. Uh, ooh, upgrades. Oh, this is where you put the upgrades. Okay. For the Cyclops. I'm learning things. 
So it's 1,500 health, 1,200 energy. So I could bring more power cells. That's probably the smartest thing to do. But I definitely need to figure out how to, how to deal with power cells because I can't charge them at the moment. I need to figure out how to charge power cells, which I don't know how to do. So this, I got, just, just voicing my shit. I'm, someone might be frustrated I'm not playing right now, but I'm like, this is... I'm putting you guys in the headspace I'm in. I'm, I'm analyzing many concerns about this new development. Because one of my issues is if I encounter a Reaper and it attacks me, if I'm lucky, maybe it'll be less scary because I'm in this thing and stuff like that. But there's additional concerns to have, which is like, what will happen to this thing if it gets attacked by a Reaper? Like... Do I- could I potentially lose the whole thing? It's not necessarily the end of the world if I have to rebuild an, a new one, because this game doesn't require me to farm large numbers of resources, and the stuff you could- I could build it out of are pretty acquirable, but it is a big hassle. But also, it might be- I might be in a situation where I can't really evacuate very well. So that stuff scares me. I'm happy to have the launch thing. I think there might- you might be able to upgrade it to have more launchers based on the upgrade screen I saw before. I'm not really gonna double check it right now, but, you know. I'm gonna try to figure out how to fly this thing. I, engine offline, okay. Right, so, okay, so there's the power. So that, that is visible, that's good. Ooh. Launch your countermeasures from there. So there's my little... thing. So this thing tells me what direction I'm facing as health, that's... That's how much noise I'm making, I think? Oh, jeez. I can go 500 meters down. That's a significant difference from the Seamoth. Also a problem, if I go under like 200 or whatever, I can't use my Seamoth. I think my Seamoth actually only can go 100 down. No, 200, because it can go down into the cave, whereas when I go to the, the red down there, I'm already at less than whatever. All right. Oh, right click turns on the lights. Okay. So that launches the thing. This is silent running. Was the top thing. So that's silent running, so that'll make it so I don't make noise. It probably uses more power or something? Or overheats or something? Uh, a horn. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Engine powering up. God, you're rad. And you sound like a transformer. Oh, I can pick a speed. I hit slow. Let's, let's, pick the, let's pick a slow speed first. So that's my current noise level. Okay. Guessing WASD? Is it getting dark right now? Oh, this thing makes me nervous. Alright, so we're rotating. I assume we're rotating in place right now. Uh, those lights do not help me, because there's nothing nearby to light up. Dude, my base is right below me. Let's try to hit that. Oh, that's not how you go down. Okay, it's getting dark. Oh, I don't like looking at the darkness even in this thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and power down the engine. engine I know, you might be like, what the fuck is he doing? Uh, I need to see this thing in action. Uh, well, I talked my way through the day, but this raises a new concern. Oh, fiber mesh. Damn it. I was like, hey, if I put a ba if I put a bed on this thing, then I can just skip to morning whenever I want to, isn't that right? Huh. Nah. Alright, so you're currently... The lights are generally off. It's okay, I'll take a moment to show you guys something else while we wait for the, the uh, sun to go down. Sun to come back up. Probably seems excessive. Oh, this will give us a chance to test out how well this game's running in S- Oh. On its SSD. It hitched a little bit. Hang on a second. Fiber mesh is creep vine samples. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that this sea moth has an inventory down there, doesn't it? There we go. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna make a bed for my base. This is so beautiful. The kelp forest. I'd be- I'd be a bit more terrified of a real kelp forest, I think. Because of the hazards in it. What's this? 
the base fairies upgraded my base when I wasn't looking. Isn't this crazy? Look at that. Yeah. So I, I lied to you guys. I made it seem all smooth, like, oh yeah, we're picking up right where we left off. Nah. I did a little maintenance to the base. I did what I said what I was gonna do. Look at that. I did the maintenance I said I was gonna do. Now, this room is basically empty. And it's just a scanner room. As, as God intended, it, evidently. And this is my... This is basically just a room for this bioreactor now. And also a lot of these reinforcing things to keep me safe. And then there's the moon base. I mean, moon pool, which doesn't do much right now. Oh, right. Let's make use of that. I've never done that yet. Between Look at him slide out all stylish and shit. Energy charging, 99%. That's charging it right now. Okay. Oh. Ah. A little glitchy. Okay. That's So you can access the upgrades. They just pop right open right there. Ah, why is the game hitching right now? Like a lot. Energy fully charged. That's cool looking. Alright, let's get back to looking around the base real quick. Alright, so yeah. Titanium, salt, quartz, copper, silver, gold, lead, lithium, magnetite, diamond, and then blank lockers. So those are all the mineral types I've discovered so far, all contained within a labeled thing, which I can more accurately see, and you can change the colors of the labels. Uh, Admittedly, it's kind of hard to color code things based on what they are, because vaguely blue slash white, it describes most things, because everything is like white to gray for a lot of these minerals. So like, I, some of the colors make a little less sense, but are just kind of something that felt right to me for one reason or another. Hey, lead's poison, so, you know, purple. Here's all the other stuff, like I got my charge, I don't know what this stuff is, but it's it's been here for a bit, I don't know why. Uh, my bed was here for a bit, and then I took it out. Uh, I'm probably gonna put more and more stuff around here, or more wall lockers or something. But there's my battery charger, my fabricator, my radio, my medkit fabricator, my mod station. And on my way out, this is where I'm gonna keep my, all my equipment. Like, all my, all my equipment I would use on a mission, I just put by the hatch over here. That's kind of made a logical sense. And then there's my medkit chest. Which is very full now. Let's see. Let's how about we make another bed? Fiber mesh. So it's uh, one of those and two titanium. Do I have two titanium right now? I do, just barely. Just barely. So now I can make a bed? Cool. So now I can make a bed for my uh, cyclops. That seems neat. Here's how elevators, uh, ladders work. Yeah. Kind of bummed out they couldn't make a, a climbing animation for ladders. They made uh, all these other animations for getting in and out of ships, but not a climbing animation. Oh, the sun's already coming up, so I don't even need to use my bed. That's fine. I have various lockers here. Those ones are empty. I need to come- I probably need to use signs or something to label them. Here's where I'm putting synthetic shit, or mostly the alien tech, but also these sil silicones. Here's the coral samples and bleach. It's basically just my water supplies plus some ta coral tube samples, which are not. Ri Wait, no. Table coral samples are the ones that are not used in water. This is used to make bleach, right? Yeah. And this is a bunch of, uh. Okay. That doesn't. That didn't make any sense. The water should be with the water stuff. There we go. This is like, uh. natural ingredient chunks of. Uh, chunks of organisms and whatnot. And then I think, believe these are also, uh, oh, then I don't know. That's got my, my chunky stuff I don't really use very much, but it's here. You should probably be over here. Not that you're gonna really getting a lot of use, but let's at least make sense a little bit. There we go. I vaguely have a system. Half of these are still empty, though. Watching the sun come up is beautiful. And that will always look like a shark to me. It bothers me. Here's where the uh, aquarium now is, above water, giving them an existential crisis. And there's my bed. Ta-da! If I sleep in this, I skip forward in time. Uh, not gonna do that right now, because, you know... The sun's up now. I was busy. This, it took me like an hour- oopsie. I think I spent like an hour or two doing stuff, basically. 
more or less. Uh, I do want to figure out how to grow trees. Like, I think I want to go to that island, grab some bulbs, and grow some trees in my base. So that I can then have a food and water source. And if I can grow that... If I can grow that in the Cyclops, that'd be really interesting. I need to grab more water because I just used up that other stuff. There we go. Sorry if it feels like we're not doing anything, but I'm giving you guys a recap on all the changes that have happened, which are somewhat significant. And also my me uh, are you idiot? We have a moon base. Moon- moon pool. I'm giving you guys an update on the shit that's going on, and uh, so on. I didn't want to make you guys watch this most recent hash of uh... Of base building, because it was a, a very, very large percentage of it was the same shit that happened before, where... It's just a lot of boxes full of stuff that need to go into a different room, and then I just, and I have to keep taking filling my inventory with like half the box, and moving it to the temporary new box, and it was a lot of running back and forth and picking up resources. Aside from the one minor detail, which is that I stacked multi-purpose rooms on top of each other and added ladders. But aside from that thing, it was mostly just the fact that I was jamming boxes in there. But I'm excited. This is new shit. And the f I don't know- the game's freaking out. I don't know, it's on- it's on an SSD now. It admittedly was running better when I wasn't recording, so I guess recording might not be super helpful for the game's performance, but, I mean, that's what I'm doing. Uh... OBS and this game are probably competing with each other directly. So I need to figure out how to fucking pilot you. So... keyboard? I'm guessing spacebar might go up. Move up. C is moved down. Huh. I guess so. I guess C always moves down, huh? Let me going up. Does the surface of the water show up on this thing? What happens when I breach? Uh, <laughs> the water doesn't really look amazing when I breach. This thing's pretty, pretty fucking cool. Let's see. So I can. Oh, you cannot strafe in the in the sub. That's what I tried to do last time too. I want to see at what point show. Okay, so we're 30 meters down. Does my base show up on the sub? You're now we're dangerously close to actual solid objects. See this? We're oh my god! I'm so close to it. So you're not gonna help me out at all, huh? Fucking hell, okay. Let's check the upgrades real quick. How do I navigate in this thing? Uh, engine efficiency upgrade module, obviously I want that, but I don't know how to get those things yet. Depth module, go even deeper. Sonar upgrade. I think the AI said that it will detect threats and tell me about them. So I assume I already have that capability. But maybe the sonar upgrade gives me the ability to, uh... Maybe the sonar upgrade gives me the ability to see surrounding terrain? Which I need, because that's a concern, right? I was gonna test to see whether or not I could fit inside of that tunnel. But I don't know how I'm gonna test that. I could approach the tunnel from above and then get out and look, I guess? Because this thing does not tell me at all how close I am to the terrain. So I don't know if this... Let's just, uh, I'll just go take a look, I guess. Let's let's try crafting in here. Yeah, that totally works. How trippy is that, huh? Put you, like, here. What is... You're so... Like, conflicty. I don't want to block the, the doorway with you. Eh, this is too bad of a spot. Okay, uh... Maybe downstairs? Maybe a- oh god, there's nothing- there's no room down here at all. And that's how I get outside? No, no it's not. That's how I get out. That's how you disembark. Is there storage containers? Is there a better bed? Is that- isn't this a double bed? 
Yeah, it's a double bed. Uh, bench. I don't have a better bed. I don't have I don't have a normal, like single person bed right now. And it will not go against the wall. It's really finicky about where it's going to go. Apparently. Okay. Is it conflicting with me right now? It probably is, isn't it? You could not be fighting me more right now. Oh wait, I can rotate you, right. Oh, that's a slow rotation for some reason. Okay. You! Come on, there's so much room in this room. Alright, well, now I have a bed. <laughs> now if I want to skip forward in time on the Cyclops, I can. It's just kind of in the way of the door. Maybe I'll learn how to get a single bed? I just don't need a double bed. Okay, back to trying to pilot this thing. Go back up. I'm really disappointed to find that this thing does not tell me about my surroundings for shit. This is, yeah, this is, this is stressful. This, not scary stressful. Oh! The fuck is that? Hey little guys, how you doing? Okay, that's different. Let's see, what kind of keyboard... Controls do I have? What? Space. What? Cancel? Did my keyboard key? Yeah, they glitched out. They're all saying spacebar. A and D are move left and right. Let's rotate left and right. I want to strafe left and right. Can the so the sub can't do that? Apparently. Okay. Okay, so there is a proximity detector. Am I taking damage right now? I'm hearing knocking sounds. No. I think that's fish. Can't fucking tell. Alright. There is a proximity detector, it's just super close by. Wow, it said back corner two. Like, every side at- Yeah, those are fish. They've gotta be completely- Yeah! <laughs> Look at- Oh, I need to capture one of you. This is a trip. Okay, yeah, and yeah, if you haven't, if it hasn't registered for you yet, yes, basically this whole episode is probably going to be me ex playing with my new toy and figuring out how to fly it. This is a weird experience. I'm kind of siding on it's probably impossible to fit. But if it is possible to fit, it's probably involving some very complicated, like, 17-point parking procedures. I would like to compare it for size, though, if I can get down there. Try to get down there without crashing. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, did I pass it? Yeah, I must be just passing by. Now it's a rear collision. This is fun, kind of. Oh. I appear to have already collided, as it turns out. Alright, I'm not going to exit via my... Blue... My blue? My, my moth, because I don't, don't know what it looks like down here. Oh yeah, I'm physically touching. Oh right, the hole's all the way over here. Oh, 
such an efficiency. Oh yeah, that super isn't gonna fit. Man, we haven't been here for a while, have we? Oh, that super can't fit. This it can kind of fit in this rift, maybe. At this point, I think yeah, I physically. Yeah, I'm hearing all kinds of sounds I don't like. Yeah, at this point, it's physically made contact. I need to add one of you guys to my to my 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 farm. My farm. My aquarium, I mean. Reginald? Hey, big guy. I like how you're not terrifying. It's my favorite thing about you. Uh, let's add you. I need to scan a Reginald. Apparently I've never seen a Reginald before. Where are they at? Reginald! Why is your name Reginald? Hey, Reggie. Uh, he's like a sunfish, basically, right? Anyway, yeah, the sea moth super cannot find its way down into there. Good to know, I suppose. How do I get back in? Pick up I I. I don't have an I I. Never scanned an I I before either. I've been slacking. Anyway, I like my toy, but also, oh my fucking god, you went up in a. Hurry. Wait, why is there a climbing animation here? I'm not the only one noticing that's weird, right? Hey guys. How you doing? Oh, he's coming this way. I don't know why I find that so neat, but it's kind of neat. Uh, you're not- you're fine, right? Yeah, so that, well, that doesn't count as a collision that matters. 98% power. Oops, sorry for the murder. It's weird how every random fish that collides with me counts as like a dire in impact, basically. I do like the soundtrack of this game quite a bit. It is good stuff. Hey, big guy. How big are we compared to each other, I wonder? Oh, you're really big. You're pretty big. Look at like the freaky, like gas bladdery looking shit going on here. Lights. <laughs> really, the lights are useless unless I'm actually in a situation where I can't see anything. Because when you can't see anything, they just. Is that how you. That's probably how you feed, right? And how you move at the same time? Because you're probably a filter feeder. Like a blue whale, or a... something, or many other things, really. Anyway, I've got a bed now, so that's fun. Should I see how... Can this game chill out with how every single minor organism that collides with me is like a catastrophic mega crash? Because that's kind of terrifying. So can I just go to my HQ with this thing, despite the game basically refusing to let me build it here. I think you couldn't build it at the base because of the fact that it, uh, falls from the sky, which would, which would be bad for the local reefs. Yeah, I'm- oh, I can totally make it back. It's not even that hard. Which is good, because this guy might have to live here for a little while. Eesh, I'm sorry. There we go. Ooh. I do like it being at the, at the surface like this. Hey there. Neat. Yeah, the, the Don't Die might live here for a little bit, because I think my next mission's actually gonna be the, the Aurora. And, uh... Boy, is the Don't Die just not really relevant to that mission right now. But maybe it could be. I don't know. I could take it by, potentially. Look at that moon. I have to balance the fact that part of me wants to just look at this world sometimes and just kind of hang out and look at things and absorb and fly around in my... fly around? Uh, move around in my big ol' uh, super sub and look at this wreckage and the moon's going by. But also I'm doing a show where every minute that goes by is minutes going away from how much I can fit into a show and whatnot. Uh, 